Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning how to create test cases in quality test management tool. Uh, so before starting, uh, let's see one or two points uh, related to test cases and what quality offers. So quality brings ease and convenience to your data management test scripts. Either it can be automated or manual and it keeps the track of test cases in an efficient and user friendly manner. So two features listed out here are export made easy. That means you can export your testing data to Excel, Word or CSV format uh, with the quality export feature and you can manage to gather all the testing artifacts like test cases, test scenarios, project management into single place. Uh, this is the URL for uh, the dashboard and uh, from two ways you can create test cases in quality that is from quick actions and from left panel test cases scenarios tab. So let's see how to create test cases in quality. So let's go to our dashboard. Uh, this is uh, our dashboard rahulqlabs.quality.com and uh, these are all the options that are available on uh, the home page or the dashboard so as i said we can create test cases from two options one of this is the quick actions uh, you can go here and you can click on new test case second option is click on this test management and then click on test cases so from here also you can create a test case so let us see let us try to create a test case and uh, see what all fields it requires. Uh, we will click on this new test case. Yeah, so it has opened uh, the page for a test case creation. Now, there are some fields that we need to select here. So let's select the fields one by one. Build. I've selected build 0.0. .0. Module. So it can be any module that is present in the project for example login module and the corresponding requirement so as of now we have not created any requirement which we will see in the later tutorials then template we don't have test scenario we don't have now test case id is something which is uh, uniquely identifying your test case let us uh, give some id like tc1 and this is the summary like what your test case is doing and uh, what will be the expected result and what will be uh, the actual result so you can give some uh, demo summary or you can uh, give any summary for the test case next option we have is uh, the precondition are there any preconditions uh, that your test case should fulfill like the url is working the application is up etc so you can give something as per your requirement and then these are the detailed steps that you want to follow as per your test case so you can give uh, some dummy steps here coming to expected result what result you are expecting out of that and the post con conditions available Next one we have the testing type. So what kind of testing it is either you are validating a field or uh, you are validating a browser or a URL or it's a security testing or a functional testing. So as per your uh, requirement, you can select the option. Next we have the execution type either it is automation or a manual execution. I'll select as manual and the priority. So uh, suppose I select the medium priority next we have is the request approval form so that is uh, the project owner so i have given as rahul qa labs and any comments that you want to give regarding this test case this is the status so as of now it is pending approval uh, from the lead or uh, from the admin and this is the attachment so any of the attachments or the documents like fsds or bsds whichever uh, attachment you want to give uh, you can attach it here you can click on browse and you can attach it here 
so after filling all the fields just click on save okay so see here my test case is listed out here tc1 that is the summary today's date is there uh, type of execution and the status it is a spending approval so this is how uh, you can create a test case now suppose you want to delete it you have written it wrongly and you want to delete it so if you go here you click on this checkbox you will get a delete option so if you click on delete so it will ask you a dialog box will open and it will ask you whether you want to delete this test case or not and this action cannot be undo means once deleted you cannot retrieve it back so I will just click on delete and you got a success test case is successfully deleted okay so these are some uh, sample uh, you know test cases that are created here with all the details if we go and see how the test case detail looks like see here test case ID build summary test scenarios what are the preconditions uh, the same fields that we have uh, filled some time back and are there any attachments or comments automation execution status okay so if you want you can edit this test case as well you just have to go to that test case and you can edit the test case as well by clicking on edit test case okay so this is about the test case uh, let's see some other options as well present out here so here you can see import csv and uh, you can also download a csv template as well so that instead of directly writing the test cases if you want to import the test cases into uh, this tool so you can use this button import csv and you can upload the csv file all the test cases will be uploaded out here another option is downloading all the test cases that you have written here so three options are available doc xlsx and csv format so you can click on any of the uh, format as per your convenience and you can download so that it can be used for the reporting purposes another option here is if you select a test case two buttons will enable out here so bulk edit and actions so if you click on actions button so there are certain other options uh, shown as well you can save it as a copy you can save it as a template and uh, status you can delete this test case and you can copy this uh, test case to another project as well so these are some of the actions shown out here uh, so this is uh, pretty much how to create test cases so uh, from another option we have is quick actions from here also you can create a test case so again it will navigate you to the same page so I hope uh, it's clear that how you can create test cases in quality and uh, if you like the video do subscribe my channel meet you in the next video thank you bye bye